we have a bit of a late night bonus video for you guys because Phil Spencer just dropped a bomb on Twitter. And this bomb is in regards to Nintendo specifically. And I find this quite fascinating as this move is clearly something intended to push parties across the line to get the Activision Blizzard deal done because the biggest concern the FTC and other governing bodies have over this purchase is not only that it would be a potential monopoly, but that Microsoft would start yanking Call of Duty off of other platforms and create this thing where, hey, this once multi-platform mega IP would now only be available on Xbox, and that is something a lot of these governing bodies don't want to see. So we already know that they've tried to offer a 10-year commitment to PlayStation that PlayStation refuses to agree to. But um, here's something that did happen today. According to Phil Spencer, read the tweet. Microsoft has entered into a 10-year commitment to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo. At Nintendo. They, 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 they literally have them all tagged up here on Twitter. So this is the Japanese account they've taken here, not Nintendo of America. So it says, to add Nintendo following the merger of Microsoft and Activision Blizzard King. Microsoft is committed to helping bring more games to more people, however they choose to, to play, and then they tag Activision Blizzard as well. And he says, I'm also pleased to confirm that Microsoft has committed to continue to offer Call of Duty on Steam simultaneously to Xbox after we've closed the merger. And this is important for a couple of reasons. One, Call of Duty's not on Switch. So once the merger's done, for at least a decade, we will be getting all Call of Duty games. That's a big deal. Steam will be getting all Call of Duty games after the deal closes. Again, that's a big deal. And what's also a big deal is this isn't Microsoft offering a 10-year deal. This is a commitment that it has entered into. What does that mean? Nintendo has agreed to these terms. Steam. Valve has agreed to these terms. So at this point, after this is done, the only company at the moment to not agree to the terms is Sony themselves who is trying to block the sale. And it's going to be very, very hard for Sony to argue that they are creating a quote-unquote monopoly situation where other platforms are going to be hurt by this when they have just committed to bringing it to platforms that currently don't even have Call of Duty committed to it. We have not seen a Call of Duty on Nintendo Switch since Black Ops 2 back on Wii U. In fact, Switch has never seen one, but on Nintendo platforms since Black Ops 2. This is massive. Like, look, I'm not necessarily the biggest Call of Duty guy. I did enjoy Black Ops 2 on Wii U, but I'm not the biggest Call of Duty player, and obviously we have Splatoon 3 and other things, but this is like... Phil Spencer ain't messing around, man. He wants this deal to go through so much so he's like, fine, you don't think that we're actually committed to keeping this multi-platform? Decade deal with Steam, decade deal with Nintendo. Both of those companies agreed. So Sony, what is your problem? Why won't you agree? Because right now, you're just looking petty. That seems to be what Phil Spencer is presenting forward. So you guys let me know what you think about it. Just a kind of a quick video. I don't want to sit here and take up a whole bunch of your evening because this is breaking news. Like, this is one of the largest IPs in the world. We already have Minecraft, right? Another massive IP. Now, Call of Duty. So this is now something we need to pay attention to. If this Activision Blizzard deal goes through, Nintendo just knocked down Call of Duty for 10 years. Probably going to be more than that, but at least for the next 10 years. Call of Duty's coming to Switch after this deal closes. Whew. Talk about some breaking news. You guys have a good rest of your evening, and I'll catch you in the next video.